And let me show you what the contact tracing that is happening there right now. It's a viral spread as we speak. There are about 45 people who have been quarantined in Siaya. But this is not the only number. The county government of Siaya is tracking 72 people who came into contact with KPA staffer, the late James Oyugi. Already 45, who include family members, have been quarantined in Siaya. And as Mashirima Kapombe now reports, the Ministry of Health may have to cast its net even wider to find all those who are in contact with him and his family right from Mombasa to Siaya. James Soyugi's home in Ukwala, Siaya County, is deserted. His family members are among 45 people who have been placed under quarantine after his death on Friday. By yesterday, they had gotten 45 people. And they are zeroing in on another 72. Apart from the 45 quarantined at KMTC Siaya, efforts to trace contacts who are with him along his journey from Mombasa to Ukwala are ongoing. On Sunday, the 5th of April, James and one of his wives, together with their two daughters, left Mombasa for Nairobi. The four spent the night in the capital. James left Nairobi alone on Monday the 6th. At Awasi, James had a non-injury accident. He called three mechanics and a driver. The five drove to a garage at Konalejo Estate in Kisumu, where James's nephew joined them. James spent the night at one of the mechanics' home in Konalejo. Four people have so far been traced and quarantined in Kisumu County. One is yet to be found. Tuesday the 7th, James drove to his rural home in Kuala where he stayed with his wife and other family members until Friday morning when he started coughing. Our neighbors didn't know that James was uh, around. Because since James uh, came home and he had a, an accident, he was not feeling well, so he was just sleeping in the house. That's why he, 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 he might not uh, have interacted with many people. When his health deteriorated, James was taken to Matibabu Foundation Hospital where he was attended to by nine health workers. He died at 7 p.m. Friday the 10th. The health workers are among those quarantined. Mashirima Kapombe, Citizen TV.